So, ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed a fantastic performance by Jimmy J on the world's first all-metal smash-proof guitar, produced and manufactured by Sunfic. And um, there's a real interesting video also on YouTube with another Scandinavian guitar hero named Yingvi Mimstein, who actually tries to smash the guitar during his performance, but basically breaks everything. But as you can see, the guitar is still in one piece and playable. But that's a different story, ladies and gentlemen. With this, welcome to the opening of the Sanfic Koroman Center, broadcasting live here from Renningen out into the world. I hope you all are feeling great. My name is Chris Brow. I have the honor to be your host and guide uh, throughout the next one and a half hours, and I'm really looking forward to this. An unsere deutschsprachigen Zuschauer da draußen auch to our German listeners, welcome to the opening of the Sanfe Koroman Center here live from Renningen. We're very much looking forward to having you here. My name is Chris Brown. I've got the pleasure to lead you through this event. And as you can see, all this takes place in two languages. But we have got world class interpreters helping us, so nothing should go wrong. So, what can you expect from our program here? Before before we get to all the exciting stuff we've prepared for you, some organizational info. Now, as you can see, I am not wearing a mask and everybody you will see here in front of the camera, but also the entire crew behind the camera has been tested negative for the coronavirus. Just so you know, safety first. And we're also obliged to follow a strict hygiene concept that has been put together, especially for this event. Once again, safety first, and this should also apply to you at home or in your office, no matter where you are. Okay, now, what can you expect from our program? We basically have everything here. We have interesting talks. We're gonna have a walk around. We're gonna have interviews, insights, product infos, and of course, the grand opening of the San Koroman Center here in Renning, the highlight of the day. And uh, we also want to make this event as interactive as possible. Well, that means if you have any questions or comments during the show, during the presentation, feel free to post these in our chat and Q&A tool, which you should find on the right-hand side of your screen. But now, let's make it official and welcome my first guests. Joining us today is the Sanfe Koroman president, Helen Blomqvist. Also with us today is Vice President for Marketing and Communication, Björn Rotzant. And also joining us is the Senior Vice President, Head of Global Sales, Eduardo Martin. So I'm gonna say hello to all of you. How are you doing out there? Helen, maybe you can start off. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling you know, super proud and really enthusiastic now to join this great event today. Great to have you with us. How about you, Björn? Really energized and looking forward to meet and interact with all of you this virtual way. Sounds good also. And Eduardo. Yeah, I do feel excited to be uh, today all with, uh, with you all in this event. Looking forward to it. So let's get right to it. And I have a couple of questions uh, to um, all of you. Um, Helen, I'm going to start with you, uh, since I think for some of your customers, but also for our viewers here today, this might be the first opportunity actually uh, to meet you. And you're quite new in your role as president of Sanfe Coromand. Am I right? Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm quite new uh, into this role. I started 1st of December uh, last year as president uh, of Sanvi Coromant, but I'm not in any way new to this company. I've been with this company for 18 years and I've been working both with product management, in sales and in R&D. And I'm so proud and honored to lead this uh, fantastic company, uh, a company that I joined as a research engineer almost two decades ago. What an interesting journey. And uh, maybe you can tell us a bit about, you know, how the first yeah, roughly eight months have been um, for you uh, in your role as president. Well, of course, it's been quite intense and challenging, but not only for me, I think for everyone, as we are still part of a pandemic. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's been extremely rewarding to see how we and also our customers have been adapting to the new market uh, conditions. 
And I think we have also seen that also through these Sunday Coromand centers, we have been able to continue to serve our customers. So we have a lot of examples on digital interactions that we have had with online interactions, uh, virtual visits, machine demonstrations and so on. So I think it's great that we have so many colleagues in the world that are bringing ultimate customer experience to, to everyone every day. So uh, looking forward, maybe you can tell us what are, you, what are your focus areas? Well, of course, for Sunday Coromant, we have been pushing the boundaries and we have been bringing great products and solutions to the market for 78 years. And we will continue to do that. And innovation and R&D will always be at the heart of Sunday Coromant. But then we will also keep our focus with our customers and we will not lose our curiosity to solve all your problems and to really make sure that we are dedicated to your customer needs. But for sure also we will put a much greater demand also on ourselves on sustainable business. And uh, this is an uh, area that we see also where we can uh, also guide the industry in a better direction and also lead by example. And that's also why we support the Paris uh, Climate Agreement, but also the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And we have quite tough ambitions as a company. We are aiming to be more than 90% circular by 2030. So sustainability will also be part of our innovations going forward. But then for my personal uh, interest, I have a true passion for learning new things. And to build a learning culture at Sunvik Coromant is a top priority for me. And that's also why the Sunvik Coromant centers are so important. Here is where we can interact and collaborate with our customers, with our partners and also academia. And here is also where we turn knowledge into meaningful value and where we also shape the future together. So maybe you could tell us a bit more about the, the strategy of the Sandvik Koromant centers worldwide. Well, for us, for Sandvik Koromant, it is a very important part of our strategy to, to invest in these facilities. Mm -hmm. And here it's also where we can also really support our customers, both physically and also digitally and independent where they are located in the world. We have this global connected network of Sunday Coromand centers with accumulated knowledge that we can share with all our customers worldwide. Thank you very much, Helen, for, for kicking this off. Um, I'd like to, um, yeah, I, I guess I'd like to bring Björn in uh, for the next question here. I, as I'm informed correctly, I think your department is basically the owner of these centers, Björn. So maybe you could tell us how many Sunday Coromand centers there are worldwide currently. Well, we have a global network of Sandvik Corman centers covering Americas, covering Europe and Asia, and all of these Sandvik Corman centers have digital capabilities. And some of them also have digital live machining, meaning that we can connect a center or a machine in a center anywhere in the world. And currently we have 17 Sandvik Corman centers. And uh, just two weeks ago, we actually had a grand open in Istanbul, Turkey for a new center. And last week we had another grand opening and that was in Milan in Italy for a new Sandvik Corman Center. And I'm happy to be here in Reading in Germany today with you for the third one. And it's not enough with that. We actually have one more coming and that is in September when we will have the grand opening in Mabin, North Carolina, US. So as you can understand, we're all happy, proud and energized and optimistic about this. Sounds more than exciting to be in the position you are in, uh, obviously. Um, maybe you could tell us more about uh, the idea behind the Sandvik Koroman centers in, in general from your perspective. Yeah, I, th I think the, the good description is that the Sandvik Koroman network of the centers here is a, a network of meeting hubs, world-class meeting hubs, where we the ambition is to meet the industry needs. And of course, you can meet here face-to-face uh, -face, or you can do it virtually. And if I would uh, describe it, I would talk about knowledge, competence, knowledge sharing, breeding skills gap. But this is where we run projects and, and, and trainings together with our partners and our customers. And actually, last year, we had more than 41,800 visitor interactions in our Sandvik Corman centers. And that's, I think, an amazing number thinking about the pandemic year that we, that we were in. So in the Sandvik Corman centers, we work with processes, we work with solutions that should at the end uh, increase productivity, reduce cost to produce in a sustainable way. So to summarize, I would say the Sandvik Corman center is where we meet and where we shape the future together. 
And the uh, interaction number you just mentioned, 41,000, uh, especially during that time, absolutely something you can be proud of. And, and once again, it's only something that's going to grow, obviously, in the future with further centers. Thank you very much, uh, Bjorn. I'd like to also add uh, Eduardo to our talk. And uh, Eduardo and his sales force, together with the product management, are basically the main users of the centers. Um, they basically host uh, the customers and partners then in the centers. Uh, Eduardo, maybe you could tell us how can the Sanfe Koroman Center support daily collaboration between the customers and the experts in the yellow coats? Yeah, thank you very much for the question. Since uh, the Sanfe Koroman Centers are globally connected, uh, this, give, uh, this gives our customers around the world a fantastic opportunity to leverage on our yellow code expertise and collaborate on finding the state of the art solutions. As we are equipped, as Bjorn mentioned, with Digital Life Machining, a technical platform that streams live machining demonstrations to remote locations, you will have full access to highly skilled uh, experts and great machining skills and know-how. These are high-tech high facilities providing total component solutions. And as a customer, you will work with dedicated teams of manufacturing specialists and process engineers, including programmers, the machine and software we offer are state of the art, and of course, the projects are guarantee uh, confidentiality. So maybe you can also tell us a bit more about uh, your expectations, your personal expectations, Eduardo, towards the San Vicoraman centers. What what do you hope to get out of it? Well, I truly hope that this is the go to the go to place for the manufacturing industry when you want to gain knowledge and be inspired. Mm -hmm. In manufacturing, even a slight increase in efficiency can produce uh, huge gains. Our global network of experts strives to uncover groundbreaking machine solutions and process improvements for all types of manufacturing. And our, our end gain is to innovate, but also to share knowledge to help you to empower your employees. An inspired workforce knows no bounds. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much to, to the three of you. I'd like to extend the round now with a further guest who's actually live here with us in the studio. He is the general manager, Sales Area Central Europe. Here is Jose Kudre. Jose, Hi, how are you doing today? Great. Yeah, a big smile on your face. Looks oh. like you feel good. What do you want? <laughs> well, we're not going to give away too much yet, but uh, this uh, center is uh, truly state of the art and um, obviously in your sales area, Central Europe. M you must be quite excited today, as you as you just mentioned. And, and once again, the smile on, on your face is absolutely proof of that, isn't it? Very true. Very true. It's clear. Um, the center yeah, will be a vibrating nerve center where we will interact with our customers mm -hmm. and partners both virtually and physically. So in these interactions, they will drive innovation, they will drive efficiency gains, they will strengthen our customers' competitiveness. Mm -hmm. So they will also enable us to grow our competences as we learn from each other. Mm -hmm. So growing these competences, stimulating new learning experiences are at the cornerstone to be a winner in the global marketplace. Absolutely. So. I'm looking forward to this next one and a half hour uh, with our audience. And I do hope that they will experience that the center creates a new environment in which expertise and creativity go hand in hand and where we will inspire them with our innovative offer. Obviously, it seems yeah, you're pretty, you're, you're very proud of, of uh, what you've achieved so far here, huh? aren't you? Well. Not me, this is about the teams who realize this. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, great job done by everybody involved. That's Maybe you could tell us more about where this feeling of pride actually comes from. Once again, without giving away too much, because once again, the grand opening, you know, will okay. take place in a few moments. Okay, well, so I'm convinced that this center will enable us mm -hmm. yeah, to make us a stronger, uh, trusted advisor mm -hmm. to our customers for the challenges they face. Mm -hmm. It will allow us to drive innovation at a much faster pace. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I want them to see our commitment to the machining industry, to its future, to our common future. And then last but not least, I want our customers to challenge us more than ever before to come up with the best performing solution to their challenges.
Sounds good. Those were also your personal expectations. Yeah. And we also have a nice film um, that kind of highlights uh, the concept uh, behind the uh, Koroman centers, the Sanfe Koroman centers in terms of design. I think the first one was built uh, in uh, the headquarter in Sanfiken um, in 2014. And basically all centers have the same concept worldwide. And we have a nice video uh, that highlights this. Uh, so let's go for it. My name is Lotta Thunberg and I'm the creative director of the Swedish design and architect agency BAS. We started working with Sandvik Koromant 2013 to create the design concept for the center in Sandviken. And the center in Sandviken was open in October 2014. 2015 we did a rollout concept for all the centers worldwide. The centers are flexible and will serve many functions and will be able to accept a wide variety of visitors with different needs. The conceptual idea was to create the leading meeting venue for tomorrow's innovation. Uh, we wanted to create a lab for the industry where innovation happens, where you could come with a challenge, collaborate with our experts and to leave with a solution. The Sandvi Koromant style concept is named Bold Scandinavian High Tech. It is a modern, powerful and high-tech Scandinavian style that demonstrates Sandvi Koromant historical and future innovation and its leading position in the market. We create an impressive, collaborative and inspirational center that makes our visitor feel that this is the birthplace for solutions shaping our future. We are bold. When we do something, we do it well. We use simple clear shapes that exude power and innovation. We are high tech. Technology is an important part of the style and we use different techniques. The focus is constantly on looking for ways to demonstrate innovation and our expertise. Precision is an important for the style expression. It exudes engineering expertise and scientific precision. Materials and lines also have high tech quality to them. This is Bold Scandinavian High Tech. Welcome to the Sandvik Koromant Centers, the leading meeting venue for tomorrow's innovations. Looks absolutely stunning. And I'd like to welcome you back here live from the lobby of the Sandvik Koromant Center in Renningen. And uh, I think it's absolutely amazing what uh, these designers have to take into consideration, all the details. Uh, but once again, it's all worth it, as uh, you can see. Uh, we're going to switch to German now. Um, the interessante Frage ist natürlich auch, warum Another interesting eines, uh, question is why one of these uh, centers was built exactly here in Renningen. And this is a question that I would like to ask two people who should know. First of all, Vice President Supply, Dieter Heimerdinger. And we also have here the Sales Director for Germany, Austria and Switzerland, Peter Stadelbauer. Great to have you here. Here, how are you? Good, great. A little nervous, right? Yes, of course, of course. But basically, the first question for you, Dieter, the location of Renningen is not new for Sandvik Koroman, correct? Yes, that's true. It's not new. So we have been here in Renningen for 80 years. We're producing tools here in Renningen. And this means that we're really at the heart of the biggest industry locations in Germany or even the whole of Europe. Just to give you an idea or a figure, uh, here in Baden-Württemberg, more than 1.5 5 million people are working in the industry, so mainly in the field of automotive engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. So we're right at the heart of the industry. So this is the perfect location. Yeah, I mean, if I hear this number, 1.5 million, it's amazing to hear what's going on here. But that also means for you, Peter, that you are really close to the customer, right? Yes, that's correct. So we are in the Stuttgart region 
question and we're very close to many customers and partners here and we also want to do um, this now work with these customers and partners to find solutions for challenges they are facing today but also in the future and of course it is not just for the southern German region but for all customers because we are in a great location geographically so we're close to Italy France Switzerland Austria it's all very close and of course we also have uh, digital opportunities to establish contact between our experts and customers and partners. Yes, we've gotten used to the digital solutions, right, last year. And you also mentioned challenges before. Now, what are these challenges, especially for the manufacturing industry? And how can the St. Vicaraman centers help to uh, tackle these challenges? Well, yes, we have a lot of challenges to handle. I think the biggest one is the productivity gap. This means that the costs are rising faster than income. And this means there is a gap and we want to close this gap. And we have two solutions here. First of all, the cost side, that's a good approach, but the better approach is productivity. So we should increase productivity. This will achieve a great effect. And we want to do this here at the center. And if you are asking what we can do here exactly, well, of course, we have digital opportunity. So this means that we can cater to our customers along the entire value chain. So from planning down to production and so on. And we also have the opportunity to capture data based on the current data to look at the current situation, but also look in, into the future for production and errors that were made in the past can be avoided in that way. And in this way, we want to push innovation and progress. So what I can hear is that this is not just challenges, but also opportunities based on this transformation. Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, digitization or new materials that come up with this, we have big opportunities. And of course, you have to also use these opportunities by thinking out of the box and with the digital means, we have great opportunities here. But of course, again, there are challenges too, and they have to do with globalization or the demographic change or, uh, you know, thinking of sustainability and also um, digitization. These are things that are uh, very um, difficult sometimes too. Maybe you can talk a little bit more about sustainability. Well, sustainability, I think, is of course a growing, well, not demand, but it's just a fact. So we need to focus on it. And we're thinking of uh, things such as the demographic change here, but also population growth, energy, environment, and all of these things uh, will influence our business. And I think a key to solve this is that we are focusing on standardization, that we also make sure that audits, uh, audits are introduced such that we are state of the art and this will be the key for future manufacturing worldwide. Okay, we also have a program item on our agenda later on on sustainability. It's about green building, but we'll talk more about this later. So maybe you could also tell us how San Vicoraman and specifically the San Vicoraman Center and threatening and help us to meet these challenges. Well, I mentioned it before, the entire value chain of the customer, starting with the planning process down to the end, is something that we offer solutions for, digital ones, but also physical tools from our POs. Um, we can work together with the customers to find a solution that's the best way, and then, of course, also implement the solution. And that's the sustainability that I mentioned. We also need to implement it. Not just doing the tests and that's it. So we have great um, options and ways of capturing the data. And also based on this data, we can learn and shape our future together with customers and our partners. I think nothing can go wrong, really. Okay, Dieter, I think that you have a great working relationship, right? Because you are producing or building what you you will then have to sell. Is that right? And that's working well? Yes. Yes, of course. It's working well. And we're both from Swabia, you know. 
Dieter, Dieter, we get along very well. Okay, Dieter, now you as the manufacturing industry, in what way are you affected by these trends and what's your approach? Well, the challenges that Peter described, they of course also affect us in production because it's always about becoming more productive, more cost efficient and actually continuing on this lean journey that we have embarked on. So we have our own dedicated production system, a Sandvik Koreman production system that we developed. And in this context, we have been gradually developing over the years. And of course, we also use our own tools, um, digital tools too, from our own group to develop further. And we have achieved great results in the past because it's about making sure that the entire process chain is looked at. And with the entire process chain, you focus on the individual steps. You need to identify bottlenecks and make sure that the bottleneck is um, improved or um, um, avoided and then make the next steps. So we've achieved a lot. We have learned a lot and we would like to share this knowledge with our customers and partners. But actually, it doesn't matter what the challenge is. I think we're in such a great position. We have so many options and opportunities and tools, and I'm convinced that we will always find a solution. And for me personally, the San Koreman Center is a place for exchange, for sharing expertise and knowledge, and then trying to find the right solutions together with our customers and partners and implementing them. And I think we're in a great position to do that. So thank you very much. Much, Dieter and Peter for now and we would also like to know who the people are the uh, yellow coat experts working in Renningen and we'll have a look at this video I think right okay let's go herzlich willkommen in Sandvik Koromann Center Renningen my name is Monika Zimmermann and I lead here the Empfang and I sorge dafür, that our Besucher sich von der ersten bis zur letzten Minute im Sender wohlfühlen. Ich empfange die Kunden und gebe somit dem Sender ein erstes Gesicht. Ich komme jeden Morgen sehr gerne hier in den Sandweg Koromann Sender, da ich immer wieder neue Herausforderungen, jeden Tag neue Menschen, neue Gesichter kennenlerne und es macht mir unheimlich Spaß der Umgang damit. Wir schauen, dass wir von Anfang an den Teamgeist und die Freundlichkeit unseren Kunden gegenüber rüberbringen, dass sie sich hier rundum wohl fühlen. Nachdem ich mit den Kunden gemeinsam die Registrierung vorgenommen habe, übergebe ich sie dann an den Kundenberater, der sie dann weiter durch den Sender führt. Mein Name ist Benjamin Gebhardt, ich bin Account Manager bei Sandvik Romand. Im Außendienst bei Sandvik Romand sind wir Account Manager und die Kollegen aus der Technik und unser größter Vorteil ist unsere Verschiedenheit. Aber die Sprache, die wir sprechen, ist einheitlich und das ist die Technik. Meine Aufgabe ist, die Kundenbesuche zu koordinieren, das heißt mit den einzelnen Fachabteilungen zu reden und vorher definierte Ziele mit dem Kunden dann hier umzusetzen. Was hier ein riesen Vorteil ist im Center, ist, dass man auch, wenn es jetzt so herausfordernde Zeiten wie aktuell sind, man muss nicht zwangsweise vor Ort sein. Das heißt, wir können auch das, was wir an den Maschinen versuchen, fahren über das Internet an die Rechner zu Hause oder in der Firma streamen. Und somit leisten wir hier einen riesen Beitrag zur Sicherheit und auch zur Industrie 4.0. Ich fühle mich hier als Gastgeber der Kunden. Und meine Aufgabe ist die Koordination von Produktion, Produktmanagement und Trainings. Mein Name ist Uwe Karl Müller. Ich bin Specialist Training and Education. Ich bin jetzt seit äh, 20 Jahren bei Sandvika Roman und habe davor bei einem namhaften Werkzeugmaschinenhersteller als Projektmanager gearbeitet und habe in der Zeit auch schon weltweit viele Kunden geschult im Umgang Programmieren, Bedienen der CNC-Maschinen. Ich arbeite sehr, sehr gern mit Menschen zusammen. Und was mich also sehr stark interessiert, ist eben der Wissenstransfer, wirklich das eigene Wissen, die eigene Erfahrung weiterzugeben und das Ganze möglichst im Dialog, also wirklich der Austausch, sich gegenseitig Wissen zuzuspielen. Und das ist das Schöne, was den Beruf so interessant macht und die Herausforderungen eben immer wieder andere sind und man sich wirklich immer auch selbst dadurch natürlich weiterentwickelt, persönlich wie auch fachlich. Man sollte natürlich die Branche kennen, in der der Kunde ist. Dann kennt man automatisch auch so ein bisschen die 
die Bedürfnisse, die in der Branche herrschen. Man spricht dann seine Sprache, dann macht man auch Nummer ein, zwei Witze und dann läuft das. Nicht. Das ist unser ganz äh, oberstes Ziel, dass wir natürlich am Anfang so ein bisschen sondieren, was interessiert den Kunden besonders, wo sind seine Anforderungen, seine Wünsche und genau da gehen wir drauf ein, damit er eben möglichst viel mitnimmt und das nachher in die Praxis auch umsetzen kann. Das San Coman Center ist für mich ein Ort der Innovation. Ich bin der Tobias Eble, ich bin Showroom Technician und Machine Operator. Ich arbeite bei Sandvik seit neun Jahren jetzt, war vorher in der Produktion tätig als Maschinenbediener und als fachlicher Gruppenkoordinator. Ja, die Leute kommen hier rein mit äh, Neugierde auf jeden Fall und, und während des Trainings merkt man dann, dass aus der Neugier immer mehr auch äh, Wissen dann wird. Wir haben hier direkt nebenan unsere Produktionseinheit und können dann unsere äh, Kundenprojekte, die wir hier bearbeiten, direkt in der Produktionseinheit umsetzen. Ich bin Bernhard Hauptmann. Ich arbeite seit 2001 in der Sunset Cooling Supply in Renningen als Full Data Manager. Meine zweite Tätigkeit ist Betriebsratsvorsitzender. Also am Standort Renningen sind wir 180 Leute, davon sind ca. 130 in der Produktion tätig. Als ich 2001 hierher gekommen bin, sehr gut aufgenommen worden. Meine Meinung wurde sofort geachtet. Es wird sehr großen Wert auf Diversity gelegt und es wird auch gelebt. Ein Besuch im SCC Renningen lohnt sich immer. Wir lernen neue Technologien kennen, die von der Entwicklung oben über Versuche im Vorführcenter bis hin zum mechanischen Einsatz direkt an der Maschine live bei der Produktion kann man die komplette Strecke der Produktion nachverfolgen. Man kann sehen, wie das Werkzeug entwickelt wird, was es für neue Innovationen gibt. My name is Sweta Padma Mohanty. I work as a development engineer in automotive development team. We have a really globalized and diverse team with a different specialization in metal cutting industries. We support each other, we appreciate each other during the work and when we have a problem, we work as a team and try to find out the solution for the customer and improve the productivity. We want to present our latest trend and build a network with our customer in one of our many events here in Rheiningen. My name is Ulrike Herdig. Als Event Specialist betreue ich die kompletten Prozesse, die die Events mit sich bringen. Das heißt, ich bin eigentlich zuständig für den gesamten Ablauf eines Events, vom Start, wo das Event beschlossen wird, über die Kundenkontakte, Einladung bis zum kompletten Ablauf und unter Umständen auch noch die Nachverfolgung. Wir können unserem Kunden hier in Renning ein perfektes Umfeld bieten und sie können sich im Rahmen unserer Veranstaltung weiterbilden durch unsere Spezialisten. Sie haben die Möglichkeiten, enge Netzwerke zu bilden und meistens ist es so, dass wenn sie unsere Veranstaltung verlassen, sie als Partner hier rausgehen. Ein gutes Event für mich ist, wenn die Kunden zufrieden sind, wenn sie glücklich sind und wenn sie Spaß haben und äh, sehen, dass sie etwas mitnehmen. Das Sandvik Koroman Center ist für mich ein Ort, wo sich Netzwerke bilden. Das Sandvik Koroman Center ist für mich sharing knowledge to develop different machining solutions. Das Sandvik Koroman Center ist für mich der direkte Weg, neue Werkzeuge zu sehen, neue Technologien zu sehen, zu verstehen und zu erfahren. Das Sandvik Roman Center ist für mich ein Ort der Innovation. Das neue Sandvik Roman Center hier in Renningen ist die Wissensschmiede schlechthin im Bereich der Metallzerspannung. Das Sandvik Roman Center für mich ist ein weiterer Beweis dafür, dass Sandvik Roman für mehr steht als nur für das Drehen von Stahl. Das Sandvik Roman Center ist für mich die Möglichkeit, jeden Tag neue interessante Menschen kennenzulernen.
Now, seeing that, ladies and gentlemen, besides the expertise and the competence uh, they obviously bring to the table, they also seem so passionate about, about what they do and uh, so nice and friendly. And let me tell you, the coffee here is also very, very good, just as a little side note. But now we're just a few moments away, ladies and gentlemen, from the grand opening, more than excited. The tension in the room is about to burst here. And um, we don't want to keep you waiting any longer, but we do need your help now, ladies and gentlemen, because you get to vote for how this opening should be underlined musically. OK, now we've basically composed two songs on the smash proof guitar and uh, we're going to give you the title of these two songs. That's all you're going to get, though. OK, we're not going to play them. You're just going to get the title. And based upon this title, you should choose which one you think fits better, would fit better to the opening, and then we're gonna play it, okay? Now we have the opening symphony, or the title called From Renningen to the World, okay? Uh, now, once again, there should be a description in the Q&A, and once again, uh, we're gonna give you two or three minutes to do so, and in the meantime, I'm gonna have a little chat once again with our guests here, maybe, you know, find out what other hidden talents there might be. How about you, Jose? Any musical talents that you might want to share uh, with us? Well, limited, but uh, okay, I do play the saxophone. Oh, really? Uh, jazz? Yes. No, no jazz. No Too jazz. Too complicated for me. Really? Uh, but like classical music, yes. Uh, you, I every do. jazz? When player? I have time. Okay, when My you have time. My son Corman allows me. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. But uh, next time, promise to bring your saxophone so we can get um, a little taste of that. I right? will consider it. All right, all right. Good. I'll remember that. How about you, Dita? Visit by Dios. Uh, what about you, Dieter? Any musical talents? The playlist upspiel. Well, I, I'm good at um, starting a playlist on Spotify, you mean? Yeah, for example, like Dieter's playlist. What would be on that playlist? A Swedish band. A Swedish band. Roxette. Roxette, for example. Pink Floyd. Roy Pink Floyd. Queen. Abba, probably. I don't know. Okay. 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 I didn't say anything. Once again, joining us here remotely, Helen. How about you? Any any hidden talents you could share with us? Well, hidden talents. I don't think so. I played the piano for for six years, but uh, no talent, I can say. But I listen to a lot of music, so, and I really enjoy listening to all kinds of music. But there is a special band that I've been following since I was a teenager, and I know all the songs. Uh, don't test me, but that is uh, Bon Jovi. Oh, look at that! Really? <laughs> well, maybe we could test it next time. Now you play the piano. Joseph plays the saxophone. Maybe we can get you together as the official Sanfe Koroman band uh, for, for the next uh, session. That'd be great. How about you, Bjorn? Uh, any, uh, anything you can share with us? Well, when it comes to playing instrument, the only thing I played was flute, and I'm, I'm not sure I qualify <laughs> to the band that you're setting up here, but that may be uh, in some other occasion. Now, music-wise, more, more rock, my favorite band has always been uh, U2, so that's uh, kind of my th style. Look at that. You all have great taste. How about you, Eduardo? Well, I mean, music is not my thing. <laughs> Definitely not. No. I don't know to, no, I can touch the guitar, but not play music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, and then yeah. No, and then my my favorite music uh, used to be heavy metal when I was young. I have a long hair, and I like Judas Priest, uh, Deep Purple, and so on. So really strong stuff. All right. Nowadays, I, I I hear Avicii, Tiesto, more mobile. Dance music. So maybe we can get a picture uh, of you from back then, uh, once again, for the next event. That, that, that'll, that'll also be great. I used to have hair, by the way, too. Uh, nobody ever believes me when I say that, but I, I really did. Nevertheless, let me check and see if we have a result for the song. Really? Okay. The winner is from Renningen to the world. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand it over to Helen for the official opening. Helen, it's all yours. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now the moment is here that we have been waiting for. So we hereby declare the Sunday Korman Center in Renningen opened. <laughs>
All right. I don't know about you, but I could tell you the feeling here in the room was truly emotional. Everybody's super excited. Look at the smile on their faces over here. Tell us, how do you feel now? How about you, Dita, Joseph? Overwhelmed by pride and excitement about the journey to come. Dita? This is super great. This is fantastic. Feels great. How about you over there? Did it meet your expectations, Helen? Absolutely. I think this has been really, truly great to see. And uh, yeah, just amazing. The initial <laughs> feeling you, you felt, uh, Bjorn, when, when you saw this. You know, it's fantastic. And I've been in uh, running in many times and I can't wait to get there uh, in uh, real life uh, again soon. And of course, Eduardo, what do you think? I think this is great. This is the, the beginning of a new journey. I mean, looking forward to it, really. Absolutely, absolutely. And once again, I think this was a, a great, uh, we could say, we could say a composition. Yeah, uh, it definitely felt uh, very, very nice to be here. And um, prior to this event, uh, we also asked our customers out there about their expectations towards the Sanfe Koroman Center. And we would like to share some of them with you. Uh, on the one side, they said a meeting place, uh, F2F and virtually a place for knowledge and, the, uh, and to enhance product and application knowledge through the F2F trainings, and also a place where I can test the newest technology and development projects. Well, now it's time to take you on a kind of virtual tour, I would say, showing all the opportunities the Sanfe Koroman Center has to offer for customers, partners, and visitors in general. And for this, we have another nice film we'd like to show you. So let's play it. I'm Daniel Svensson, working as the manager for automotive machine development team here in Renningen. Our department is part of the Sandvik Koromant Global Automotive Network. Here in this center, our department works with developing and optimizing our offer to the customer. We develop and introduce new knowledge and applications for different components. We also develop industry-specific tools for the automotive industry. So here we can work with dedicated customer projects to solve that unique challenge for the customer to offer the best solution. At the project start, together with the customer, we set the project demands and needs. We will optimize current processes and develop metal cutting strategies for the future automotive components. Together with the customer, we will set clear goals for the upcoming project. The project planning and design phase is very important. We will select the best possible tools for the application. If they are not existing, we will design them and get them manufactured. Finding the right cutting strategy is key. With CAD-CAM, multiple solutions will be created and simulated. Usually, the customer provides components for our in-house testing. Now the most interesting part of the project begins. We will program the machine, set the work holding, and run a structured test matrix. While machining, we analyze the chip flow with our slow motion cameras and measure the toolware with our 3D microscope. In our measuring club, we can provide 3D component measurements, including quality gear profiles on our 3D CNN machine. We have digital microscope where we could uh, analyze the macro and micro geometry of the cutting head. We could also trace the web development in time. We collect all important information for documentation. Finally, we will present the results to the customer. We will do it here on our machine or stream live from the machine to the customer. If all the project requirements are fulfilled, we will actively support the implementation at the customer and deliver a complete solution. So, with this dedicated customer project, we bring innovation and transformation to the market. My name is Christian Sabo. I'm the training and center manager for Sales Area Center Europe. Sandvik Roman has a passion to develop and, and find solutions for particular challenges for customers and partners, which they may face with their daily business and their daily production. Fahrzeuge, die Schneekante, das ist unsere DNA. Dafür stehen wir seit vielen, vielen Jahren. Um den Zerspannungsprozess für unsere Kunden nachhaltig 
effizienter zu gestalten, haben wir uns entschieden, schon vor einigen Jahren in die digitale Lösungen zu investieren. Ein großer Teil dieser digitalen Lösungen haben wir unter der Familie Coro Plus zusammengefasst. Und diese Familie Coro Plus unterteilt sich in zwei Bereiche. Wir haben einmal den vorschauenden Prozess, Design und Planning und den digitale Lösungen für den Bereich im Prozess, um dann letztendlich das, was wir in der Planung gemacht haben, so effizient wie möglich dem Kunden weiterzugeben, aber auch im Prozess zu kontrollieren, zu steuern, ob diese Prozesse wirklich wirtschaftlich laufen und daraus wieder Rückschlüsse zu ziehen in die Planung. Und die Kunden haben einen sehr, sehr großen, sehr, sehr großen Bedarf an Zeit sparenden Methoden und um einfach die Zeiten effizient in ihrer Fertigung umzusetzen, bieten wir die Möglichkeit hier mit seinen Bauteilen zu uns zu kommen. Wir arbeiten gemeinsam mit seinen Technikern hier vor Ort eine Lösung und wenn dieser Lösungsansatz dann so steht und der Kunde damit zufrieden ist, dann gehen wir mit dem kompletten Paket wieder nach Hause zu dem Kunden auf seine Maschine und setzen das dann auf seiner Maschine gemeinsam mit unseren Technikern vor Ort. Definitiv ist der Mitarbeiter des Kunden ist das höchste Gut. Und um ihn da zu unterstützen, bieten wir Mitarbeitertraining in einem Corman Center an. Die Schulungen richten sich an Maschinenbediener, Maschinentechniker oder aber auch an Projektleiter, Projektverantwortliche. Oder auch alle die, die an technischen Innovationen, an Zerspannungswissen interessiert sind. Wir bieten Schulungen an, Webinare, Online-Trainings und andere Events. Alle unsere Schulungen werden entlang der Wertschöpfungskette unserer Kunden zusammengestellt, auf den Kunden halt angepasst, beziehungsweise der Kunde kann seine Trainingsinhalte selbst bestimmen. Natürlich sprechen wir auch über jede Menge Tipps und Tricks, um einfach die Produktion einfacher zu machen, um bestimmte Probleme schneller zu lösen, einfacher zu lösen, an Ort und Stelle flexibel und schnell zu reagieren. Zusammenfassend kann ich nur sagen, dass wir eine große Auswahl an Kundentrainingsmodulen haben, an die jeder Kunde für sich und für seine eigene Fertigung ein Programm zusammenstellen kann. Natürlich bieten wir auch Tag der offenen Tür an, für berufsbildende Schulen, für Universitäten, für alle die, die einfach mal reinschnuppern wollen, was moderne Zersparnung einfach bedeutet. Unser gesamtes Trainingsangebot finden Sie auf unserer Website. Schauen Sie unter Trainings und mit wenigen Klicks finden Sie den entsprechenden Inhalt. Sollen Sie auf der Webseite nicht das richtige Trainingsangebot bekommen, sprechen Sie einfach mit unseren Außendienstmitarbeitern und wir stellen mit Ihnen das entsprechende Training zusammen. The Corman Center has three lecture rooms, actually one big auditorium, which can be separated to three smaller uh, lecture rooms. And uh, we have a digitally equipped uh, special room we call VIP theater. Also, we have four machines right behind me, and all of these machines has we call education stations. And these education stations are specifically designed for customers to touch and smell the work pieces, to, to, to feel the machining uh, from close, and they can have a discussion with the training and the training specialists and the machine uh, operators, and they can look inside the machine directly what is happening in. Also, we have very high quality camera system in the machines, and this camera system is helping us visualizing the um, the the activities inside with screens so our resources are not only limited to people and lecture rooms and machines uh, due to the high-end streaming technology which are installed into these machines uh, we call it a digital live machining technology we can connect to any other centers in the world with the same system that means we can use their assets they can we can use their uh, expertise they can use their equipment on demand All this can be accessed by visiting the center or virtually from anywhere in the world. What can the visitors take away from this place? Getting inspirations from us, gathering knowledge and ideas, developing themselves and their teams, and building networks through our events. Ja, wirklich Wahnsinn, wenn man sieht, Absolutely. wie viele Möglichkeiten die Fantastic. When you see how many options are there for the visitors und, ja, to further develop and to actually do justice to their own challenges in their production processes. All this here in the Santa Coroman Center. We'll hear more about the topic later on, but first of all, I would like to introduce to you the man who is responsible for the building, for the project. He is the project manager of the Sandvik Coroman 
Performance Center, Markus, Markus Dünne. Markus, good to have you here. How are you today? Alles soweit gut. Toller Tag für uns heute hier. Fine. It's a wonderful day for all of us. And we are happy to be able to experience this day. What a wonderful project. What an exciting time you have lived through. Can you tell us something about the project, the time you have experienced? How did you live through it? Interesting project, interesting task we took on, but it's an excellent opportunity as well to include customer needs in the planning of the center. And for me personally, it was a major challenge, such a project of such an order of magnitude and so complex. How long did it take to build this facility? Well, the duration, the groundbreaking ceremony took place in May 2019, 800 days, two years, two months is the time we took to complete everything. And due to the pandemic, of course, there was uh, a few delays, but all in all, we can say we managed everything superbly and you can see the result today. It was definitely worth it. 800 days later, what is so special about this building? Now, what is so special about the building is certainly the combination of information, theory, practical application, technology, but then on the other hand, production, digitization, industry 4.0, everything under one single roof. It is such a wonderful combination and you will hardly ever find that in your professional life, won't you? Yes, also, as we heard from the previous speakers, sustainability plays a very important role with St. Beckerman and this is what we focused on in this project as well. And we are working on sustainability in all areas, especially in the design of the project. All planning stages were focusing on using natural resources and making sure that water and energy be efficiently used and waste avoided. The target was to set up a sustainable building following the principle of green building. Big challenge, big challenge, ambitious goals. How did you proceed in order to meet those challenges and goals? In order to bring about a green building, we focused on the right material selection also in the energy planning, and this is where we focused on sustainability right from the beginning. Right from the beginning, mid, there was an old building on the grounds which was uh, demolished. So demolition is step zero or first. Everything needed to be separated. All the material from demolition needed to be separated. Material that couldn't be recycled needed to be disposed of in an environmentally compatible way. On site, everything was recyclable that, recycled that could be used for the foundation slab or for other purposes. So much on the demolition. What about uh, the further steps of implementation? Further cornerstones were the use of uh, renewable resources wherever possible, timber or timber fiber plants or emission-free floors in the offices for the insulation of the building. Mineral facade insulation was used, uh, glass facade, triple glazing, as you can see. And a very important point is the consistent use of uh, waste heat and uh, process heat in the center in the production. This alone brings a savings of more than 100,000 tons of CO2 per year. So this is a really good result we were able to realize. In addition, there is coupling of uh, process um, climate between the center and the production. So it's efficient use of everything. And there is also greening of the roofs. And the surface water on the parking spaces is seeping through the permeable pavement is used for watering the plants. Oh, it's wonderful, but it's very complex, isn't it? Now, when you look at the parking space, for example, we've got electric charging stations for our guests as well. So you've not forgotten anything, but it was worth it, wasn't it? It was definitely worth it. It was so important for us to implement it in a way so that the concept of the green building could come true. We are so proud of it, and we are actually proud of all the implementation steps. Last question, what is your personal take 
away lesson or are there some anecdotes anything special that happened during the time yes as you heard it was a very comprehensive complex project with a lot of stakeholders we had a lot of very complex uh, applications i would like to use the opportunity to thank everybody who's been involved in the project internal stakeholders external stakeholders it was a wonderful cooperation based on a lot of fairness and we were very proud of having been able to make that dream come true. You were talking about anecdotes. Oh, during such a project, there's always a few challenges you have to face. There was one very special thing. The time schedule was always very strict and unplanned was what we lived through in the structural works. We had a first guest here. It was a falcon which built its nest on the construction crane and that caused us a three weeks delay. That's really good and that's something you cannot plan in, can you? But as we said, we're here today and we are so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Marcos, sounds very exciting. All the best for your future, Jim. Thank you. But we have not shown you all the opportunities you can find here in Renning. What's interesting as well is the production here at Renning. And you can definitely benefit if you come here as a visitor. But see for yourself. Ich heiße Andreas Schmollinger. Ich bin Werksleiter hier am Produktionsstandort in Renningen. Unser Produktionsstandort hat eine über 80-jährige Geschichte. Wir sind seit der Firmengründung kontinuierlich gewachsen und unser Unternehmen beschäftigt heute knapp 200 Mitarbeiter. Viele unserer Mitarbeiter haben die Ausbildung hier am Standort durchlaufen. Wir verfügen über eine hochmoderne Ausbildungsabteilung, in der wir Industriemechaniker und Ingenieure im dualen Studium ausbilden. Hier am Standort produzieren wir Werkzeugaufnahmen. Wir sehen die Werkzeugaufnahme als ein sehr wichtiges Bindeglied zwischen der Maschinenspindel und dem eigentlichen Werkzeug. Wir befähigen sozusagen unsere Koromann-Werkzeuge, die dem Kunden zugesagte Performance ans Werkstück zu bringen. Am Standort werden ca. 250.000 Werkzeugaufnahmen produziert. Eines unserer bekanntesten Produkte ist das Hydrodenspannpuder Korochak 39. Unsere hochmoderne Produktion startet mit der Bearbeitung ab Rohmaterial auf hochautomatisierten modernen Drehfräszentren, geht über unsere automatisierte Härte- und Brunieranlage, über unsere automatisierten Drehfräszentren in der Hartbearbeitung, über automatisierte Drehmaschinen, bis zur Endbearbeitung in der Montage und endet im Versand. Ja, zum einen freut es uns außerordentlich, dass wir hier am Standort das neue Santi Koromann Center erhalten haben. Wir freuen uns, wenn wir unseren Kunden und Besuchern hier direkt unsere moderne, saubere und hochautomatisierte Produktion zeigen können und auch vorführen können, wie wir selber mit Koromann Werkzeugen unsere eigenen Produkte herstellen. Stichwort Digitalisierung. Natürlich kann man Digitalisierung und digitale Lösungen, wie zum Beispiel Machining Insights als Lösung von Santi Coromand, die wir auch unseren Kunden anbieten, live erleben. Weiterhin teilen wir auch sehr gerne unsere Erfahrungen aus den Bereichen der Lean-Methoden, unseres Produktionssystems oder auch unseres Nachhaltigkeitsansatzes der Green Factory mit unseren Kunden und Partnern. Natürlich profitieren wir auch als Produktionsstandort von der Zerspannungskompetenz, auf die wir hier im St. Koromann Center Zugriff haben. So lässt sich mit Sicherheit manches Zerspannungsproblem schneller lösen. Weiterhin profitieren auch unsere Mitarbeiter und Auszubildenden von der Nähe zum Koromann Center, da wir durch diese Möglichkeit unsere Mitarbeiter und Auszubildenden auf dem Stand der Technik halten können. Wir freuen uns auf viele Besucher am Santi Koromann Center und der Produktionseinheit hier am Standort in Renningen. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the main stage and uh, all good things come to an end at some point and so does our time here. Not quite yet, but almost at the end. And um, maybe I could ask uh, once again, uh, Helen, Björn and Eduardo also how they experienced the past hour, one and a half hour uh, here together with us. Did you enjoy it? 
Absolutely. I mean, this has been amazing and uh, it's a lot of work that has been put into making this uh, event a success. And I just want to congratulate everyone involved. I mean, it's been great to hear all the words about innovation, knowledge, shaping the future together. Yeah, I'm so excited to visit uh, Renningen as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Helen. How about the others? Fantastic to be part of. I can feel the passion from everybody joining and presenting and you know, looking forward to all the things we can do together with partners and customers in our fantastic San Vicorman Center. So a, a great hour together here. Yeah, and then I would like to say, uh, to share, thank you very much to you all for your great uh, contribution you have had today. I mean, it was really, really fun to listen and to hear to, to you all, the passion that you have when you have the dialogues and all the excellent work that you have put into this. So thank you very much for that. And it was I'm looking forward to being running again, of course. Yes, I was about to say, we're all looking forward to meeting you soon here, hopefully in person, because once again, it was great talking to you also through the screen. I enjoyed it, but I'm very much looking forward to sitting together with you next time with a cup of coffee. And maybe once again, everybody packs out their instruments or not. All right, we're going to jump in and do something uh, uh, interesting together. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, in closing, I could also say thank you very much uh, for, for the trust. Thank you very much for having me as your host and moderator. I'm always fascinated when I see um, innovative uh, concepts like this, innovative, um, you know, innovative companies and um, the way they basically, you know, go forward and also uh, their perspective on the future. And this has uh, once again been very enriching also for, for me. So thank you very much for having me. And in closing, I'd like to hand it once again over to Jose Kudre for the closing words. Jose, it's all up to you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Chris. What's your talk? What a day. Today, we'll start a new journey, a journey where we can realize and implement the ambitions that we defined when we started this project here. It is a journey that will help us to become a better solution provider to our customers and partners. Helen, Eduardo and Bjorn have already impressively highlighted how this new San Vicorman Center fits into our global strategy. And here it's all about stimulating the knowledge sharing, driving innovation and showcasing our new solutions. And I am convinced that everyone will agree with me today that we have achieved to do exactly this and that this center will provide us with opportunities that we never had before. The environment here is unique. The center, the production facilities, very close to our customers and partners. And this helps us to use all our trumps when it comes to the development of new solutions, whether it's machining, design or production logistics and all the digital solutions that we have at our disposal will be used in our new center and of course this means that we can support our customers on their industry for that journey. Das Konzept this green building the green building approach that was already focused on during construction also highlights our commitment to reducing our ecological impact. Digitization and sustainability go hand in hand and to us are much more than just some empty words. And in some I would like to say that I'm very proud of what our teams have achieved here and I'm really enthusiastic about the opportunities that the center has for us and our customers and partners. At Sandvik Koremand, it is part of our day-to-day -day lives to use our resources for research and development and innovations. And innovations can only be created when you have the right environment for it. So this means an environment where individual ideas can connect. And that is exactly what we will do here together with you. 
So, herzlichen Dank an Sie so, allen. thank you very much, everyone, who are celebrating the grand opening with us and are part of this. And I hope that you can see the passion with which we work and that we spread in the industry. And I would like to invite you to have a close look at the opportunities that we offer to you here. Together with our experts, you can translate them into success for your business and company. And we are all looking forward to welcoming you here. Welcome to our Sunvik Korman Centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our center. Welcome to the Sandvik Korman Center. Greetings, customers and partners, and welcome to our centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to the Sandvik Korman Centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our Carmon Center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our centers. Welcome to the Sunday Carmon Center. Welcome to the Sunday Carmon Center. Welcome to our Sunday Carmon Centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our centers. Welcome to the Sunvik Korman Center. Welcome to the Sunvik Korman Center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our centers. Dear customers and partners, warm welcome to our Sunvik Korman Center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to Sunvik Korman Center. Welcome to the Sandvik Koroman Center. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our Sandvik Koroman Centers. Dear customers and partners, welcome to our center. Welcome to the Sandvik Koroman Center.